Hello, this tutorial is designed to teach you how to use ThingLink for video. To get started, go to video.thinglink.com slash sign up. You can request early access by clicking on this red button. After receiving early access, you'll be able to sign in from the sign in screen. If you don't already have a ThingLink account, you can register for one here. If you already have a ThingLink account, you can log in with Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or your email username and password. When you log in, you'll land on the Videos page. This is a place where all the interactive videos you create will be stored. To create a new video, click the blue Add Video button. You'll have the choice of adding a YouTube video, or adding a Brightco video. Let's add a YouTube video. On the next screen that appears, paste the URL from YouTube into the box and click. In a minute, your video will appear. Now your video is ready for adding rich media tags. To add a tag, click the plus button after playing the video. Then click to add a tag. Let's start by adding some text. Who is this man is the question I want it to say. And then I can go ahead and click an icon. And you'll notice there is a built-in question mark right there. And finally, I need to add the URL or embed code that's going to take me to the information. In this case, there's information on Wikipedia that I want to link to, so I've copied it and pasted it in the box. The final thing I need to do is set the duration. It could be 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or 15 seconds. I'm going to choose 10 and click Save. And you'll see my question pop up in the middle of the screen with a question mark. Now. Here's something to note. If I drag the icon all the way over to the side on any part of the screen, then the question will show up automatically when it plays. If I leave it in the middle, users will have to hover over it to see the question. So that's a personal choice. I think I want it to show up automatically, so I'll put it right there. Now, let's rewind a little bit and see how that works. Okay, you can see that the tag is marked there with a little yellow spot on the timeline as well. So I'm pretty happy with that tag, so let's add another tag. I'm going to continue to play the video until I find the place to tag it. Okay, let's add another tag. Now I want it to say where is this taking place. And I'll go ahead and choose a question. And set my duration again for 10 seconds. And now I want this to link to a Google map. So I've already copied the URL and I'm going to paste it in here and save. You'll notice that the icon again appeared in, the, appeared in the middle of the screen. If I want it to display automatically with the question where it just shows up, then I can drag it to the side. And let's check out that link to the Google Map. Pretty nice. You can continue to repeat this process until your video is complete. And finally, you can change the look of the tags by customizing the color. This is helpful if your tags aren't showing up. I can make them pink and I can make my tag color white. And that will make four tags that really stand out. And then I go ahead and save. And now you can see my tags have changed colors. If you want to edit a tag, just click on it and look at the buttons at the bottom. You can delete it, you can change the settings, or you can rewind. So have fun creating 
ThingLink interactive video. And if you need more help, please click on the Help button on the left side of the screen.